All right, slight update on the bike. Uh, put the exhaust back on. Just checking a couple more fitment things. Still need to break, make the bracket that's gonna go from here to here, you know, to help hold the pipe steady. Uh, we decided to go with Bluetooth wire harness. See, you know, all that disappeared. Nah, I'm just playing with y'all, I'm just playing with y'all. Uh, so we took all the wiring out the bike because we bought a fuel tag. It's not mounted. I still need to make the wiring harness. Standalone computer should give it more tunability. Uh, like I said, I went and dropped the clutch cover off. Actually, I didn't. He wasn't there. So, Vic with La Familia, you know, teammate, is going to drop that off sometime this week. So, that can be extended out. But this is going to be a lot of fun. Fuel tech, fuel tech, fuel tech. Um, wiring this, I imagine, is going to, going to take me a few weeks. Because I literally have to wire everything. It's an FT500, so I can't use the A and B sport bike uh, harness. So literally wiring everything. Um, so we get rid of a few things like this actuator and I'm gonna have to make sure it seals up on that side. You know, I'll lose a few sensors that we really don't need. Lighten it up just a tiny bit more. Uh, the old cluster is 11 ounces, which we have over here. The old cluster is 11 ounces. The wiring harness and ECU is roughly four pounds. <coughs> All of this is for sale, uh, except for maybe the wiring harness and the ECU that's hooked up to it. That ECU right there is a stock ECU. Um, the plastic, you know, is broke right there, but it's untouched ECU. We got a MPS kill box and a Wego 3. Nice mini sold this like faster than I took it off the damn bike. But that's where we're at right now. And yeah, I ordered that, a few sensors and whatnot, and we'll start wiring that up in the next week or two. So I'll do a little update videos here and there. Definitely digging the low cut oil pan and the Voodoo exhaust. I'm so happy that I found a Sidewinder that actually fits the bike. Uh, Franklin with Power Curve Motorsports, he chose to go with a Brock. So he put a Brock on his bike as soon as we confirmed that it fit on mine um we talked about it beforehand what might fit and i got this exhaust and just threw it on all right so uh made ourselves a little template for the dash i think it looks pretty good i wasn't very good at arts and crafts so yeah um got a piece of carbon fiber plate that I'm basically gonna transfer this carbon fiber to or cardboard to and then cut it out so nervous about doing that but we also just got a box from fuel tech let's see what it is Sorry, I'm by myself, so I don't have a camera person to hold the camera. So yeah, we just got everything that we ordered from Fuel Tech. Ordered me a hat, nice banner. Uh, we got the O2 sensor for the na Nano, 
Um, what else? There's our unterminated harness, which is gonna be so much fun. And then we got uh, the nitrous pressure switch, fuel and oil, a couple of plugs. Um, you know, honestly though, I was more excited for this banner than anything else. Let's unfold it real quick. All right, so we got the fuel tech banner hung. That template that we made the other day, I cut the carbon fiber, mounted the display ECU and the nano, which will read the AFR. You know, I just kind of plugged up the wire as a random bag. I know I'm gonna use those for injectors, so I kind of ran them over there. Gonna have a lot of work, a lot of updates. Hope y'all keep on following the project. It's gonna be fun. Love hate relationship with wiring. But check us out.